are going. We're doing it. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, John, for the Gimpity here. Welcome back to another episode of the Saga Lock. Um, yeah. I, I've had, I've, it's about my bedtime. It's weird that my bedtime is 9, 9.30 now, but, you know, it's about my bedtime. And, <laughs> Uh, but no, we trained up our team. Our team got up to level nine across the board, as you can see by our beautiful Brittany. Um, Brittany now has Swift. I don't know why I clicked Swift on the Keybone that I could have just annihilated with anything else. But, you know, we're fine. Everything's okay. But yeah. <laughs> so, it is kind of insanity, to say, say the least. So, what happened was our, our, our boy Patrad... We gotta talk about our boy Patrat. Um, Patrick the Patra Patrat. <laughs> yeah. He didn't want to learn anything good. So, he started off by learning Rage. And you're like, okay, Rage, blah. And then, then he goes and wants to learn Splash. I'm just like, I can't just sack you off. I need you to be good at something. And then finally, it learned Headbutt. So, it... He's kind of useful, not really useful, but kind of useful. So at least that's something. Yay for headbutt! Woo! Also, um, but I did some reshuffling and recentering, so hopefully things are looking better and looking more nice and like, like whoa! I like tones. I like everything else. Um, I do like. So I got this like for Christmas. I got one of this like. We did a well, white elephant gift exchange, and it was really kind of hilarious. And now, mind you, it wasn't Christmas. It was a couple days beforehand. Um, I got a little, like, selfie ring light that's, like, for, like, a phone, right? But, like, I could actually use it for content, so I really enjoyed it. Really, it was like, oh, I hope nobody steals it. And it was, like, super underrated, which was, like, like that made it the best part. Because, like, of course, you don't know what you're going to get. And I had no idea what I was going to get either. Like, I literally grabbed a gift and I was like, oh, okay, this is like, it literally was like a box. And of course, it's like, okay, and it was this. And I was like, oh no, don't steal it, don't steal it, don't steal it. It was not stolen at all. I, I picked first, got, it was just meant to be. And you can kind of just tell because of the way that everything looks. And also, the Kaiba almost died. Kaiba boy, you can't do that. Uh... <laughs> But yeah, no, this, this is, it's, it's really kind of hilarious when that happens. And I love it because it was the underrated gift. And now it's being utilized practically. <laughs> it's just like, yes, yes, everybody. I had a plan. I had a plan for once in my life. When I saw it, I knew exactly what I wanted to do with it. And I moved actually the light bulb. As you can see, the light bulb is flashing. It's kind of a different color, which is a little cringe, but I Changing it doesn't really help. <laughs> Making it white doesn't, like, illuminate the way it is. And then it changes this lighting. So I had to actually make it, like, similar but different, I guess, is the way to explain that. I was like, okay, uh, similar but different, I guess, is what we're going to have to do. Um, well, partly because I'm not going to make this, this, this light anymore because I there's no reason to. Because uh, I can brighten up the lighting and make it so it's more full. And I, I don't mind having the lighting more full. I am a little bit curious on how it's going to look when it's light outside. But I've never not had the mental fortitude to record in the morning. So, I mean, that makes a difference. Mental fortitude is, like, important. Especially when <laughs> you're slowly dying. Um, <laughs> that's, I mean, we all are slowly dying. But, um, weird epiphany and weird way to go about that. But... It's fine, guys. I'm totally okay. Um, but yeah, so no, it's we today we get to fight joy, and fighting joy is gonna be joyous. Um, if you aren't a loved one, be a loved one. Loved ones are amazing, and we love every single one of them, of course, because Joy and I love all of you. Um, joy is amazing. Okay, I say this every time we bring up joy. But, like, I wouldn't bring it up if it wasn't true. So, love joy. But, enough of that. We have to be in fight you joy mode. But we can't fight joy. We don't want to fight joy. Like, this is where joy being a rival is going to be so weird. It's like, 
friendly fights, you know? It's not like, yes, I'm gonna do my, like, everything to just win all out. Go all out! Ha ha ha! I mean, if we were actually fighting and doing, like, any form of fighting, like, in Pokemon, I would try hard, obviously, because I don't go easy on you. Like, that's, like, one of my traits is, like, I don't go easy because I feel like it's better if I try harder so that way when you do eventually win, it's more satisfying because I feel that, right? Like, it is very satisfying. If, if you know that somebody is going extremely tough on you, then you finally win and you're like, whoa, I did it, let's go. And you get super excited because you you, you actually won. You, you did good. And it's kind of like when uh, Jonas and I were on our chess binge, like when I finally won, I was like, oh my God, I won, let's go. Like, cause it, you don't, you're not expecting it, you're not ready for it, but it just happens. Um, uh, we did we did a two out of three, um, and it was what uh, we got to a point where it was one one and one, and then we kind of just never finished the game. Uh, Crush grip. Who's learning that? Dacon is. Crush grip. Target is crushed with the great the more more power for the mold, more target the HP has left. Honestly, our move that is like the only move that I would consider getting rid of. Honestly is bulk up. I don't touch that move very much. Um, which is weird because I would think I would touch it more. That's why I put the move there, but nope, nah, I just, I've barely touched the thing and I'm like, okay. I guess that's not what's happening. Um, also, where is my... Ah, <coughs> uh, sorry. Um, trying to find that little divot the divot on the side to get me the two items because we don't have the item stuff right now but um, oh there it is okay I found it I thought it was like behind it but it was ahead of it I was wrong but yeah I want to get some good items because our items are kind of lacking uh, obviously because it's the beginning of the game and we haven't gotten any yet but you know again that's besides the point and that definitely was John not thinking before that I spoke um, also, you guys might be wondering why I got rid of Heat Wave on uh, Brittany. And here's why. Because Heat Wave, I determined Heat Wave is not needed. So, uh, you have Dacon. Dacon takes care of Steel and Grass. Two of the three types that Fire is super bad at against. And then I was thinking about it and I was like, okay, that leaves Ice. Um, Brittany deals with ice pretty well. That might be good for Brittany to have. And then I was like, wait a minute. I was trying to, you know what? I'm gonna edit that in. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to do some editing. You know, again, more things that Joy is making me like, um, want to do is more editing and like more doing things. So yeah. So I kind of was like, Oh, that's sad. Um, that's that's really sad. <laughs> uh, but yeah. So I was like, wait a minute. Is there something that I can do? And I was like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So I can add stuff in and do more things and try and be better. Cause better, co being better at content creation is always good. Also, finishing my other thought. Um, for, while I'm playing Kaiba Kaiba to the front of the party. So. I was like, okay, so that's two out of the three types. And then we have ice, and Kaiba Boy just mercs ice types. Um, and this was a perfect switch in because Zatu is the perfect counter for Dakon. So, even though Dakon wasn't even the front, but. Yeah, so I just was like, yeah, this is the best case scenario, best options, all this stuff. And yeah, I'm very, very proud of that. Um, today we are actually going to do the things that I think allow us to get to the next. Can we not almost die every five seconds, Kaiba boy? Please. I really don't like how frail Kaiba boy is. 
Kaibo Boy is gonna be the moment, guys. Kaibo Boy is totally about to be the moment, guys. Just for, like, it, it, it becoming more and more clear and evident, and I don't like that. <laughs> Kaibo Boy is gonna be that one that's relied on for something stupid, and then it's gonna be like, oh, well, I'm dead now. And be like, well, did you deserve to be alive in the first place? Probably not. That's so mean. Wow. But also, it's not like it's untrue, which is also said. Oh, hi, codename Nelian. Hopefully you've enjoyed everything that we've done. Did you know them? No, I, I wouldn't say that. What am I saying? What is this episode? Anyways, uh, I can't even reset myself. Uh, back to normalcy. Oh, you have the tier two guy. You know what? This is a great way to reset. Joy, you're always great at helping me do this. Joy wanted the Tortuga. Joy really was sad that we didn't get the Tortuga. Now the Tortuga gets to be part of the playthrough because Joy's going to have it. So if anybody were to have it, it would be Joy. Right? That's exactly what the comment section was thinking. Give Joy the mom that she wants because we know it's Joy. No, I can't give the comments that much. <laughs> can't give the comments that much. But I'm very happy that you are the one that got the Tortuga. Because, again, you wanted it. And I will deal with this amazing starter they gave me. They did give me the worst starter. Or, or not the worst starter. But, well, maybe the worst starter, actually. Like, I was thinking about it. Like, it was, because I think Swana was the worst. Tortuga was the best, in my opinion. Because Tortuga is defensive. So that's why you couldn't give me the Tortuga. Because... It, even though it evolves at a level 40. So at least you <coughs> they got an evolved mod. So yeah. I was kind of trying to think about that and kind of determine that and figure all of us stuff out. <coughs> and I was like, hmm. But yeah, I was like, I honestly do believe and think that the first Pokemon on that list was <coughs> Swana. Although we've used a Swana before. Swana just, we you know what Swana's scared of. I guess is that's what is a good way to put it. And so because you know what Swan is scared of, you know what to avoid. Now to fight Jonas. You know, sometimes I don't understand this game. It's like, oh, y y you're in a fight. Well, both are rivals now. Although Jonas killed, or Tarant, it wasn't Jonas before. Tarant killed a Pokemon here. Um... So hopefully that doesn't happen because uh, we have Manager Brittany out here. Manager Brittany is taking care of this, okay? Like, we gotta let Manager Brittany do her job, okay? Brittany is the manager. Oh, oh Manager Brittany. You're amazing. You take care of all of our needs. <laughs> Smoochum, dead. More like Deadchum. It, oh, it's got sturdy. Why? Why of all things does it have to have sturdy? Like, of course it does. Guards play. Oh. Wait, that only does stat changes. I keep forgetting that. It only does stat changes, so Smoochum dies to this. <clears throat> we'll find out if I was wrong, but I believe it is that way. I was wrong. Because Smoochum... Well, actually, no. I don't know if Smoochum would have died to that way. Who knows? Well, I'm just like <clears throat> derailed completely. So, we, oh, hi, Swana. I forgot about you. I already forgot about you. It took me two seconds to forget that you existed. I'm sorry, Miss Swana. Also, was flying not resisted on rock? I swore it was. I just realized when the thing chattered, it still did a considerable amount of damage. <laughs> Wait! Yeah, I'm in very much a wait a minute mode, and it's hilarious. It's like, uh, hi. Wait a minute, guys. Like, we're, we're kind of just doing our thing. Not dying casually. Oh. <laughs> this is gonna kill things casually. This is the way to kill things casually. How about Stone Edge to the face? How about that, Kaiba Boy? Kaiba Boy! And Stone Edge people dead. Let me throw them stones. Smack down, stone edge. Smack down with a stone edge, you know. 
whatever, whatever they need to do, they, they'll do. Speaking of, uh, bag. I got orange berries. I believe I get three of them. And as we all know, um, <laughs> I will give them to my Pokemon, the three Pokemon I use, because that gives me a third of my HP if we get down to under 10. So, or under 25%, which we will definitely utilize. So, could be the difference between winning and losing very easily. Um, scarily enough, but it is true. And, yeah, we're going to go get the monkey, um, and then get ourselves, end of, the, end of the episode, get ourselves ready for the next, next gym. We're already at a gym, and it doesn't feel like we should be at a gym. But also, this is the difference between fast, fastest text, though, to be 100%. This is the biggest difference of why I love having fastest text on. Because, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It's just lines of dialogue. I don't care. Like, oh, it's a godsend. Like, because all these trainers would have just like, beep, 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 lines of text instead of like, more water and rock types. You know, the best thing about a water and rock type. Who the heck are those people? I don't know. I don't know why I'm concerned about it, but I, I'm always concerned. I'm a worrier, okay? I'm a natural worrier. Gee. I wonder why, why I'm naturally worrying about random things that I shouldn't be worried about ever in the first place. Hmm. Wonder. Um, also, that doesn't kill. Why did I do that? I'm using Aqua Jet incorrectly. I'm supposed to be managing my rolls, and I'm just like, yeah, let me use Aqua Jet right now for no reason, because that, that that won't save me a hit. <laughs> oh boy, we're, we're in for one. We are in for one, apparently. Musharna, another one, another Musharna. Who will want to try it, th dude? Actually, it, during grinding, y'all, I actually had an experience during grinding. So, uh, I was grinding up a track because I was trying to use Patrak because I was like, Masharna doesn't have that much, um, anyways. So, like, it's totally fine if I, you know, send out the the Patrak. So, what does this thing decide it wants to do? Gee, I wonder. So, it goes for. Uh, a psychic type move on me. I don't remember which one it was, but it effectively it hit me um, and brought me down. I think it was Luster Purge, and I was like, "Oh God, that's actually a pretty good hit." It took 13 damage, and it was like, "Okay, that's or, or, uh, nine to eight damage." So it brought me down to 13. So I was like, "Okay, I survive another Luster Purge. We'll be fine." And then uh, because I have color change, I actually became a psychic type, and I was like, "Oh." Well, Headbutt's not going to do good anymore. Let me switch. And thank Googly Moogly that I did. Because it, this thing, it straight up decided that it would be a phenomenal idea to turn me into a psychic type, to attempt to synchronize me, and murder me. And I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. That's why I knew it had synchronized. Because I was like, what the flubber nuggets? You smart. And you're a wild mon. What is this? You're not supposed to be that smart. <clears throat> and so, yeah, that was my experience with that. It was like, oh, ooh, let's not die. Um, let's let's stay alive if we could, please. <laughs> let's 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 not die. That's all I ask. Um, no death, no death of Rooney's heat more. Brittany? No, actually, I can send in Kaiba Boy for this. I'm like, Brittany, you're doing everything again. No, honestly, that's, I'm trying to avoid doing everything with Brittany. Because, you know, Brittany is Brittany. And Brittany needs a break. We Brittany, Brittany needs love, support, and a break. And we missed, we missed the, <laughs> we missed the first one, of course. But we don't take any damage to that, so we're okay. I think I actually would have killed with SmackDown. I gotta be aware of those situations where killing with SmackDown is okay. Because, again, we are a frail boy that 
will die <laughs> if we aren't careful. That's the superior. That's Dacon's responsibility. <laughs> We're actually seeing a bunch of the Gen 5 months. It's really kind of cool. Um, I'm like, I actually read that as Lort. And I was like, oh, it's Lort. We're going to be fine. And then I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. That's not Survivor. That's not a Survivor, John. That's a superior. They're completely different in how you handle them. You gotta pay attention now. Um, and actually, this is the generation where there's a lot more paying attention that needs to go into it because a lot of the names kind of start coinciding and meshing now um, that we've entered Generation 5. I don't know if Nuzlockers feel this way. Um, so if you actually do Nuzlocks and do stuff, like, d does, does names of Pokemon just mesh together and, like, you see, you don't read the full name anymore. You just read, like, the first three to four letters. And you're like, oh, I'm, okay, it's this. I don't know. It's something, it is It is a, a problem. Um, because you're being lazy and not reading the entire thing. And then you can make crucial mistakes by doing that. Cough, cough, nudge, nudge. I haven't done that before, definitely. Um, definitely haven't done that multiple times during this series. But, <laughs> yeah. So, I don't know. Have you felt that way? Do you feel like that happens often? Like... Because I feel like that happens way too often to me. I'm like, oh yeah, we'll be okay. Nothing bad can truly happen if I don't pay attention. Hi, hey, it's you. What critical one did you first receive? Oh my gosh, you got a cup. Bootops is a fossil Pokemon. This Metacham will be of super use to you. It's a psychic and fighting type. You know, Kabutops... Kabutops is kind of like weak to grass, so um, psychic Pokemon would be fun. Uh, you can dominate. Okay. Code name received a Metacham. Honestly, what do I name it? It's a Metacham. It's a female Metacham. I, I don't know what to name it. A Weedledy. Tweedledy. Don't know why I want to name you Tweedledy. Now I need a Tweedleduck. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna go to sleep. It's gonna be fine. We're gonna be, we're gonna be, it's gonna be okay. We gotta trade up anyways. Okay, what does Tweedledee have? Um, Tweedledee has hydration, so it heals status problems if it's raining. And it's got a moveset and a half. Uh, auto crit. We have power swap, which is a not good psychic move. We have close combat. Fusion bolt, which is a legendary move. And storm throw, which is an automatic crit move. Well then, what a weird way to end the episode. I love you all, and I hope you guys keep up the amazing work you guys do every single day. If you do like this, like, comment, subscribe. What was this episode? I don't know. I'm tired. I'm going to bed. Bye.